Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying all the videos that I am uploading. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe and also click the bell icon so that you get all the future videos from me. Today's problem is stream of characters. Implement stream checker class as follows. Stream checker of words. So constructor, init the data structure with given words. So that is a constructor. And then we have one method, query of letter. So letter is a single character. Returns true if and only if for some case greater than or equal to one, the last k characters queried in order from oldest to newest, including this letter just queried, spell one of the words in the given list. So let's try to understand uh, the concept with an example, right? So uh, let's go ahead and check the example down below. So we are given with a uh, constructor, right? So a constructor is getting initialized with a set of words. CD is a word, F is a word, and KL is a word, right? So this is what is we are initializing the uh, stream checker. And then uh, query of letter. So letter is a single character as, uh, as I said previously. So stream checker query of A. So that means we are checking with, uh, we are querying with the character A. So we have to check if any word can form with a right so if there is a word called a in the in the given set of words no right so we'll have to return false so when the next character is query b so now we have two options we have to check b and ab right b and ab so because it said oldest to newest right so oldest is a b so b and ab is there any word called b no is there any word called AB? No. So that's why we written false. So for the stream checker C. So now we have three options. That means we have to check C and BC, ABC, right? So three options. But anyway, in this case, there is no word called C. There's no word called BC. There is no word called ABC. So that's why we written false, right? And then stream checker of D, right? So in this case, is there a word called D? Obviously, no. Is there a word, word called CD? Yes, there is. So as soon as we find, we are going to return true. You don't need to check whether there is a BCD or ABCD because one word, if it is there, you just return true because that is what we care about. Return true if and only if for some K, it doesn't matter. You don't have to exhaust all the characters. Whenever you return true, you can just stop. If you find a word, you can just stop right there. So likewise, so here E, if you go on, right, E, is there a word E? No. Is there a word D? No. Is there a word C, D? No. B, C, D, A, B, C, D? No. So likewise, now come here, F, is there a word called F? Yes, there is a word called F. You don't have to check E, F, D, F, C, D, F because we have written true anyway, right? So likewise, so if you go on, right, so the, at this point in time, it it is going to check for K. There is obviously there is no word called K, but when it queries for L, there is a word called KL. That is when it is returning the true. So uh, I hope that problem is clear to you. Basically what we are uh, considering is last K characters that were queried. So we have to keep track of uh, whatever the input that we are getting in, in place of this letter, right? So that we should select last K characters and check uh, in our data store whether that particular word is existing or not by com combining last K, right? So uh, we are going to use a try data structure for this. So I have already uh, uploaded a video uh, with the concept of the tries. I will put the video link as part of the description. It's better for you to pause this video right now and go to that video and uh, get familiarized with the try data structure before uh, watching this entire video, right? So once you watch that video, you will uh, understand it in a better way in order to solve this problem. I'll try my best to explain a little bit and try for this also, right? But if you could watch the other video where I'm explaining the try concept, that would be uh, making your life easier to understand the solution that I'm going to explain here. So there are some things that uh, we need to consider here. Words will contain only lowercase English characters and queries also will contain 
lower case english characters so all we have to worry about here is only the lower case english characters right so as we said we are going to have the tri data structure and tri district data structure will have 26 child pointers so all this concept i has already explained in the try video please go watch that before uh, going for the solution here so basically when we are trying to add a string to the try right what we are going to do is all the strings when uh, which were given as part of the constructor we are going to put them into the try so how we are going to put the uh, put them into try is if the letter is i mean if the word is cd right we are going to do uh, insert into the try in a reverse way that we are that means we are going to insert c d c right so one important thing here i noted it down one important thing to note here is we are going to insert the words in reverse order because when we are searching we are only interested in the last k characters right so we are we will be searching the reverse order that's the reason why i am inserting the words also in the reverse way okay so that is uh, one thing so there is a add string function that i'm going to implement in the reverse order and then search for a string that is what uh, when you query it is going to call search function for the try okay so here we are interested in the most recent like last most recent k characters right so that k could be anything it could be few or all right that's what i noted here uh, which will be collected during the query function right and then if 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 the try has it is going to uh, return true if the try doesn't have it is uh, going to return false let's go ahead and uh, look at the partial try implementation for this okay so th this is my main stream checker uh, class we will come back to this later okay let's go ahead and look at the try implementation for this particular application okay so try has child pointers and it has a word and so child pointers are 26 because we have 26 letters in english right and uh, initialize all of them to null and initialize word and to be false and add, add string function right so what we are uh, doing essentially here is add string so we are passing a string and then uh, this will be the traditional try implementation so this there is no change for this so please refer to my uh, my video as i said uh, previously you will understand more what this add string function is doing and the second thing this is the most important part the search right so uh, search where you go through the try and if you are uh, able to find a word return the word and if at all you found a word you return the uh, word and right otherwise uh, you go on check at every node whether there is a word is ending or not so that is the that is what we want to check right whether any word or any partial word existing in it or not so for example if we were passed with until cd right so whether d is there cd so if cd is there if cd is word end then we are going to return true again please refer to my uh, try uh, video where you get better explanation so with this try i'm going to go through the main uh, class okay main class so here we have uh, created a new class for the try and we have created a new string builder which will keep track of uh, all the strings that were searched so far right that were all the characters that were searched so far so in the stream checker method what we are essentially doing here is we are going to add all these words right into the uh, try so try add string but what, what we are doing is before adding we are uh, doing the reverse right so we are doing the string reversal and adding them in the uh, reverse string format so that is what we are doing in the constructor so once you come to the query method this is a very simple vanilla query method so since we have uh, we have to accumulate the search so far right all the letters that we are passed to query we are going to append it to the search so far and whatever the search string that got obtained we are getting into the string and search for the entire string whatever that is so uh, when you are at d right so you are going to search for a b c d okay and when you search for a b c d anyway uh, in the reverse order 
you will hit CD as a word end, right? You will hit CD as a word end and then you would return true. So that is what is going to uh, take care of the word. So majority of the implementation is there in the try class here. So here in these two methods, the implementation is minimal, right? So hope you uh, understood the solution. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, again, uh, please subscribe to my channel and share among your friends. Also, don't forget to click the bell icon. If you click the bell icon, you will get all my future video updates. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with another video very soon. Thank you very much.